Okay, so here we are in the WordPress admin panel, and in this short demo, I'm going to show you two things. Just how easy it is to create great dynamic content with the proprietary AP drag and drop editor that drops straight into your current blog theme, and how you can use the AP builders to set up full blown guru level marketing pages with the click of a few buttons. Alright, so let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a regular blog post with Authority Pro and I'm sure you'll see exactly how insanely powerful this system really is. So what we're going to do is go to add new post and now the drag and drop editor is going to be initialized. So from here we can do several things. We can do SEO, we can change some of the things on our page, we can do custom scripts, exit grabbers, legal pages, and time-based redirect scripts. But for now we're just going to simply use the builder to build a really great content page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layout at the top. I'm going to select a one column. Inside here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some text. Now this is the normal WordPress editor. If we go ahead and edit this you can see that opens up in the regular WordPress editor and you can do everything you can normally do inside of the normal WordPress editor here. Okay, so we're just gonna save this. Now we we have the one column with some text inside. What I want to do now is I want to add just below it two columns. So I'm going to add a layout. I'm going to search for my two column layout. There he is. And now what I want to do is I want to add a video on the left and an opt-in form on the right. So we're going to see just how easy that is. We're going to go into our widgets, search for video, click insert. There's our video. We're going to go into our widgets, search for opt-in form, and then click insert. And there's our opt-in form on the right side. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a headline and an order box. And you're going to see exactly how easy this is to accomplish. So let's go add a one layout, uh, one column layout at the bottom here. And we're going to add our headline in here. So we'll go to our widgets, search for our headline, click insert. Now for our headline, we're just going to choose a simple graphical headline. But as you can see, there's lots of options. You can have text, you can set your headline font size, font colors. It comes with over 500 Google fonts, as well as website fonts, and everything you need to create really great looking headlines. But for now, we're just going to select an image. And let's go down here, and let's select this one click on save changes. Now just below here we're going to then add an order box. So you're gonna see how this really is simple. Let's go to add another layout and we're gonna do something a little bit more uh, complex but it is a great result and you can have it in literally minutes. So let's go click on edit. Now what I want to do is I want to make the width of this one I want to make it a little bit smaller than the entire width of the container. So I'm just going to put it at 85%. Now I'm also, I also want to center it on the page and I want to add a little bit of padding inside of the box that we're creating. Now here you can choose your background color and some cool background effects. For now we're just going to choose a background image. So this I'm going to click on background image. We're going to search for the one we want. Okay, I think I'll choose this one. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to add a little border. Now, I want to add rounded corners on my box. So I'm just going to put a number here and I'm going to add a border. So I'm going to add a border width of four as well. I'm going to choose my border style and I'm going to choose my border color. So let's choose, let's choose a nice green and there we go and I want to put a little effect on the box so I like this one and I'm going to go ahead and save it 
So now what we've done is we just created a box. So now what we want to put inside the box is a headline, some bullet points, and an order button. So I'm going to go back to my headlines, go to insert. Okay, we're going to edit this one. And we're going to select a headline image. And I want to select the risk free acceptance form headline. There we go. Click on Save Changes. And we have our risk free acceptance form headline. Now, what I want to do is put some graphic bullets underneath. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add the widget. And we're going to search for the, one of the many widgets inside of AP, the graphic bullet list. And what we're going to do, just for demo purposes, we're just going to take a bit of text here and copy it. Come back to our bullet list. Go ahead and edit that. And we're going to choose a graphic, one of the many bullet lists available. And I'm going to choose I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to edit the content. So here I'm going to put in my content here, and then to determine which of the content is going to be turned into bullets, we simply just add regular WordPress bullets like this, and we go ahead and click save, and save again, and now we've got our bullets. Very simple stuff. Last thing I want to do for this box is I want to add an order button. So we're going to come here, go ahead and search for our order button. And I don't particularly like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and change it. We can go into the order button gallery and we can find an order button that more fits our page. But how about the screen one since we made the box green? Okay, we've got our order button. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of text at the bottom. So I'm going to do a one column layout. Add our widget, our text widget. And the last thing I want to do is I want to show people just how awesome other people think I am. So I'm going to add a testimonial right here at the bottom. So click testimonial and it inserts it right there at the bottom, perfectly formatted. You can change the text, change the headline, change the picture, everything you need to do to make it perfect for your page. Now what we've just done is we've done this, we've built this page in a matter of minutes and I'm just going to go up to the top here and I'm going to add a title and then I'm going to go over here to the right and I'm going to click on publish. So now that my page is published, I'm just going to go ahead and click on view post. And we're going to see what this looks like. So here we have our WordPress theme. We haven't changed it. This is the theme I like and I want to use on my site. We've got content. We've got a video on the left, plays perfectly. We've got our opt-in form on the right. We've got a headline. We've got a nice looking box here that has our bullets, our headline, and an order button, some more content, and a great looking testimonial at the end. Now, I like this page, but there's some things I'd like to change about it. For example, I would like this video to be bigger. I want it to go all the way across and I would like this opt-in form to be just below it and with the field, the email field on the left and the order button on the right. Now, normally if you tried to do that with the normal WordPress editor, that would at least take you an hour or so. But we're going to do this in just a few seconds. So, we're going to take our video that we placed here and we're going to move it up here under our content. This places it under the content and makes it full width. And you're going to see just how responsive this is. And we're going to take our opt-in form as well. And we're going to, again, place that right underneath the video. Just drops in there like that perfectly. And since we don't need this two columns anymore, we're just going to go ahead and delete it. Now, 
the other thing I want to do here is I want to make this opt-in form go all the way across the page with the field on the left and the order button uh, the opt-in button on the right so we'll just click on edit and also I might want to change the style I'm gonna go with the blue style and over here down here at the bottom we're gonna choose the form layout we're gonna make it inline which will make it go all the way across the page and I'm gonna change my opt-in form button um, let's just choose one here and go ahead and click on save changes and you're going to see that this automatically updates and you can see exactly what your page is going to look like before you publish it now that we're ready to publish it I, I like the way this looks let's go ahead and update and we'll go ahead and refresh our page so now we've got our same post here we've got our content but now our video has jumped to full width completely responsive and we've got our opt-in form just below it just the way we want it to look and then we've got our headline and we've got our order box some text and some graphic text a graphic testimonial so you can see just how easy it is to create high quality really dynamic selling pages right within your WordPress blog with Authority Pro 3.0 but now what I want to show you is how you can create guru level marketing pages just as easily with a click of a few buttons. Okay, so now we're going to jump back over to our WordPress admin panel. And this time we're going to go over here to the left and we're going to go to the Authority Pro dashboard. The AP dashboard is where you can access all the built-in step-by-step AP wizards, which basically take you by the hand and show you exactly what you need to do to create awesome pages in the exact order that they need to be created, and then ties everything together. Now you can go on your own and you can use the custom builder to basically do whatever you want to do, or you can use something like the sales builder, which will walk you step-by-step -step through the process. Now we're just going to use the sales builder, and we're going to create one page, and we're going to see how just how easy it is with AP. So we're going to create a new builder. This is my AP3 sales builder. And let's go ahead and create. Now it's creating my builder and when you come to the builder the sales builder for the first time you're going to see various steps so it basically shows you the path of what pages you should create and gives you which step to create them in and then at the very end it allows you to create and set up an entire sales funnel based on the pages you have just created link everything together perfectly so your sales funnel your launch your product you can sell it perfectly without any worries so let's go back up here at the top and we're just going to create a new sales page you can choose from a number of templates we're just going to choose the first one and we'll click on create new page and you'll see just how awesome this is so so the builder has now been initialized with the template that we've chose and it has all of the template elements inside ready for you to modify change move around delete do whatever you want and it basically creates a full-blown internet marketing sales page that you can just do whatever you need to do to make it your own now of course we can make any modifications here we want but for now I'm just gonna add a title here and show you the result that you get just by adding a title and clicking the publish button so I'm gonna call this my awesome sales page and go ahead and click the publish button okay so the page has been published let's go ahead and check out how it looks so I'm just gonna go to view page and open it in a new tab and here we go we've got a fully featured sales letter with a header that you can change out easily just hit change the header image you can change the background image you've got a lot of different headers and footers built in so you can make the page look exactly how you want you can change the background Im image you can change the background image of anything you see here you can add your video link it's a perfectly optimized marketing video it works across all mobile platforms across all desktop browsers and it's completely responsive you've got your order button this can be hidden for a certain number of seconds 
and we're just going to scroll down here and look at some of the different elements that are automatically added for you when you create a page through the AP Builder. So you've got headlines, you've got text, more headlines, you've got some module boxes, another module box, you've got a value stack here, you've got testimonials, more testimonials, and a full risk-free acceptance order form with order buttons, a guarantee, money back guarantee, some additional text, and all the way down to the bottom where you've got your footer and your footer links. So literally with three clicks of a button, you've got a full-blown sales page that looks great and will impress your prospects and clients. So let's go back to the admin panel and do one additional thing. Let's go back and what I want to do is I want to create a squeeze page. So we're going to go to Authority Pro, we're going to go to the dashboard, we're going to go back to our sales builder, we're going to load the sales builder that we just created, and now you see that since we've created our main sales letter, the rest of our steps are now online. We've got step 2 of 6, upsell sales letter, step 3 of 6, exit squeeze page, buyer opt-in page, thank you download page, and AP creates all of these pages just as easily as the one we just created. Now what I want to do is show you one last thing, show you how easy it is to create a great looking squeeze page. Now for this particular step we're going to create what's called an exit squeeze page. So I'm going to choose one of these. I'm actually going to stay within the same theme so it looks consistent across my site and I'm going to click create new page it's going to go to the builder and just like that our exit squeeze page has been initialized and we've got our header, we've got our footer, we've got our opt-in box we've got our bullets, we've got an, an ebook image and we've got a really great exit squeeze headline so I'm going to call this my exit squeeze and click on publish